If you're sending big and you're starting to feel the limits, throttling, timeouts, delivery delays, then boy, do we have a video for you. We're putting MailTrap versus Postmark APIs head to head. No fluff, just numbers, real world behavior under sending pressure, and what it means for your business and engineering team under the hood. Hi, and welcome to MailTrap videos, where we explore the world of emails. We'll start with rate limits and throughput, which MailTrap and Postmark are very similar. Both APIs support batch sending, which helps when you need to send emails to a large number of recipients. And neither enforces a strict rate limit. Both scale with your usage and rely on dynamic throttling, a mechanism that balances the sending volume to keep things stable when you hit the system limits. That means flexibility out of the box and room to scale as your sending grows. But the way each API handles throttling is a little bit different. Let's break it down together. Things like throttling, queuing, and retry logic keep delivery stable under load and help recover from temporary issues. Here's a quick look at how both APIs handle just that. MailTrap has a built-in smart back-off logic. If you hit a rate limit, it automatically throttles requests and returns a 429 code, keeping your delivery stable without interrupting it. If you need more control, domain-level throttling is available on request. MailTrap's team can fine-tune the send rate for specific domains. Campaign throttling from the UI is still in progress, but you can already paste large sends manually or by coordinating with support. As for queuing, you can manage queues yourself or you can let MailTrap take care of it depending on how your system is set up. When email can't be delivered right away, MailTrap will keep retrying for up to 24 hours, backing off gradually. Permanent failures, like hard bounces, stop retries immediately to protect deliverability. Postmark takes a similar approach to throttling and handles it automatically. There's no fixed public limit, but exceed the threshold and you'll get a 429 error, followed by a cooldown window. Throttling is applied per IP and per domain to prevent overwhelming the recipient servers. While Postmark doesn't offer user control queuing, it does queue undeliverable messages internally. If delivery fails, Postmark retries most domains every 10 minutes for up to 12 hours before marking the message as bounced. The retry timing may vary depending on the recipient's domain. Compared to Postmark's automatic handling, MailTrap gives you more options to control throttling and queuing, and a longer retry window. This means more flexibility when managing your email traffic. Let's talk about reliability and failover. Those things you hope to never worry about, but really should understand before anything goes wrong. Both MailTrap and Postmark promise a 99.99% uptime. But what kind of infrastructure is backing that up? MailTrap keeps things stable with a distributed MTA setup and replicated databases. If one server goes down, others take over. You don't have to configure anything. Failover is automatic and fully managed. What's more? MailTrap's MTA configuration is flexible by design, so if you have a specific routing or load balancing need, like isolating traffic types, handling sensitive messages separately, or optimizing delivery for specific geos, it can be tailored to meet your sending needs. That kind of customization can be necessary for unique or high-compliance setups. Postmark runs on redundant infrastructure with automatic failover. If a server or process fails, traffic is rerouted behind the scenes to keep delivery going without interruption. Traffic is spread across multiple IP addresses to reduce risk. If an IP gets blacklisted or a recipient domain blocks messages, Postmark shifts traffic to healthy IPs automatically to avoid downtime. However, Postmark doesn't provide options for custom routing or for isolating traffic by geography, compliance level, or other specific needs. All failover and traffic management happen internally without user control. Unlike Postmark's fully automatic but set it and forget it failover, MailTrap gives you the same rock-solid reliability, plus the flexibility to customize routing and load balancing if you need to handle complex setups or strict compliance. Now let's compare how MailTrap and Postmark help you scale, if they offer simple integration with SDKs, and how well their APIs support multi-tenancy for managing multiple clients or environments. Both MailTrap and Postmark are designed to handle scaling automatically. MailTrap scales horizontally by expanding its infrastructure with multiple MTAs and IP addresses, automatically distributing the sending load to handle higher volumes and smooth out traffic spikes. MailTrap lets you separate traffic into streams for transactional, marketing, or bulk emails, and isolate environments with multiple domains and API keys. This setup protects sender reputation and makes multi-tenant use cases easier to manage. Subaccounts are also on the roadmap, and they will make this separation even more seamless down the line. 
Postmark scales vertically by increasing capacity within its existing infrastructure and distributing traffic across multiple IPs. While it doesn't directly support subaccounts, you can separate clients or use cases using servers. Each server acts as an isolated environment with its own credentials, templates, and reputation. When it comes to integration, both platforms offer SDKs in major languages. In short, MailTrap's horizontal scaling gives you more flexibility to absorb spikes in traffic without performance dips. Combined with stream separation, domain-level isolation, and upcoming sub-accounts, it's better equipped for multi-tenant setups and complex sending needs. Now let's talk about analytics and how you can track your email performance. MailTrap gives you helicopter view dashboards, drill-down reports, and industry-best analytics to monitor deliverability and engagement. You get open-and-click tracking, full deliverability analytics, branded HTTPS links, custom domains for link tracking, and even breakdowns by mailbox provider. Logs are stored for up to 30 days. MailTrap also provides robust webhook support for delivery, bounce, unsubscribe, spam complaint, open, click, with built-in retry logic. Postmark offers delivery stats and optional open and click tracking, primarily through its webhook API. Webhooks can be configured per stream and cover key elements like delivery, bounce, spam complaint, open, click, and unsubscribe. Logs are stored for up to 60 days with an add-on. Both platforms give you detailed webhooks with retry logic, so you can easily feed real-time data into your own tools for analytics or alerts. But MailTrap takes it a step further with richer built-in analytics, branded link tracking, and detailed mailbox provider breakdowns, which means you can get deeper insights right away with no extra setup needed. When you're scaling or troubleshooting production issues, good documentation and developer-friendly APIs aren't just nice to have. They save time, reduce mistakes, and they help your team move faster. Let's compare how MailTrap and Postmark support developers with docs, tooling, and overall integration flows. Both platforms use RESTful APIs and support all the usual SDKs. MailTrap offers a RESTful API with comprehensive open API documentation and real-world examples, while Postmark keeps it minimal and language agnostic, providing code snippets for every call. If you're building automations, MailTrap connects with over 7,000 apps via Zapier, Make, and Tabular. Postmark offers a wide mix as well, WordPress, Craft CMS, and ActiveCampaign, with plenty of flexibility via both official and community-built tools. Template handling is a strong suit for both platforms. MailTrap lets you create and host email templates using both HTML and a drag-and-drop builder. The Templates API gives you full programmatic control, ideal for managing templates at scale or migrating from other tools. It also supports dynamic personalization with the Handlebars engine. MailTrap also provides the Batch API, which makes it easy to personalize and send high volumes of email. Postmark also offers a visual template editor alongside support for dynamic content with reusable blocks and logic, which is great for email personalization at scale. Lastly, support, which is one of MailTrap's biggest advantages. Not because you'll need it very often, but because it's there when it matters. With MailTrap, you get 24-7 access to real human experts, including developers and deliverability specialists. Whether you're onboarding, optimizing, or scaling fast, there's always someone ready to help you make the most of the platform. For high-volume senders, that includes personal onboarding and strategic consultations to get your setup just right. Postmark provides responsive and friendly email support during US business hours, with dedicated success engineers available for larger senders. Let's sum it all up. Both MailTrap and Postmark are capable of handling high email volumes with robust APIs and scalable infrastructures. However, MailTrap does offer distinct advantages for teams that seek greater flexibility and control. MailTrap's infrastructure supports horizontal scaling that guarantees consistent performance during traffic spikes and peak sending times. Also, MailTrap makes it easy to manage different clients, projects, or environments, so everything stays organized, secure, and ready to handle. MailTrap provides extensive customization options, including domain-level throttling and flexible queuing mechanisms. This adaptability allows you to tailor the email sending process to your specific requirements, and it allows you to ensure optimal deliverability and compliance. Our tests indicate that MailTrap consistently achieves great inbox placement and fast delivery times, particularly under high load conditions. For developers, MailTrap offers comprehensive API access to templates, logs, and stream settings with programmatic control over your email operations. Once configured, MailTrap operates reliably in the background, even during high-demand periods like Black Friday or product launches. 
And if you need assistance, our team of experienced engineers is available 24-7, not just for troubleshooting, but for onboarding, fine-tuning, and scaling advice. MailTrap gives you real-time access to developers and deliverability experts whenever you need it. Want a general overview of email API flexibility? Check out our video comparing how Recent, Postmark, Mailgun, SendGrid, and MailTrap approach it. See you there! There's a bit of a deja vu. How do you throughput? 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 Throughput. It's just syllables to me now. <laughs> Sorry about that. Depending, 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 depending. Oh boy. It's a tongue twister, is what it is. Yeah, let's take a break. I think we need to take a break. Yep. <laughs> we need to take a break.